when everybody is busy to look open eye research paper, try to figure out are they gonna be replaced, they may lose in some crucial warning that open AI gave us. They explain this really careful and implicit because they scare it may cause panic. The message is our product GPT may burst the education bubbles and it will change everybody who own a diploma. Imagine you try to become a content before calculator is invented. You spend four years of your time, two generations of money and effort to become a really great accountant, calculate all the transaction by hand, and your accuracy is 90%, top of your industry. Suddenly, calculator is invented. You just waste all these resources and time and money. OpenAI basically said, this will happen to everybody who own a diploma. So what is bubble? Bubble definition is the current price is way too high compared to the value of it. People pay 100K to 150K to get a college diploma. Right now, on the national record in America, there is about $1.63 trillion of student debt. It's about top 10 richest people net worth all combined together. And one of the charts that get published by OpenAI just demonstrate that your diploma is worth even less. They let GPT trying all different entry exam from high school to college. All these metrics pretty much determine what this high school student get into higher education. The blue part is represent GPT 3.5. They already become really good in a lot of this exam. Within three months training, they publish GPT 4. All the grain bar is represent how much did they improve within three months. One of the most growth is the bar exam, which is an entering exam for become a lawyer. They been ranking lower 10 percentile to up to 95%. Transform an F student to top of the biggest lawyer. If we're gonna collaborate all the clue that OpenAI leave us with this chart, we'll see a really big shift within our society. Three things will get replaced. First, the skills we been training will get replaced. For us, from beginning that we go to kindergarten to we finish our academic career in college or master degrees, we've been training all these skills. Reading, writing, mathematics, reading comprehension, comparison, active listening. If you scroll down all the way down to look at the end of the paper, it actually show all those advantage we thought it will never fade away, suddenly become worthless within three months of training of AI. A bit more specific of skills, I elaborate with my past videos. If you're interested, you can click to my past video to watch more about the skill replacement. Second replacement is career advantage replacement. So many people can get high pay because the barrier to entry this career is really, really high. When you go to school, the reason why school is not focused on problem-solving abilities, uh, critical thinking, scientific thinking, is actually because their job is not to raise a person into that way. Their job is solely to teach you what is the jargon, how can I send you over the entry-level bar of this career. For example, for programmers, they teach you code, that's the jargon they use. For scientists, they teach you mathematics, that's the entry bar you need. For psychology, uh, economics, or finance, they have uh, so many academic work coming out every single day. You need to learn all of those, enable you to have a conversation in the first place. This advantage that costs a lot of money of yours, time of yours to learn, suddenly is destroyed by GPT. GPT down to the core is called big language model. What they do is 
they try to understand all this jargon and retelling people, mundane people, in a simple term. One of the most shocking clip is when GPT-4 was published, the presenter on a piece of paper draw a layout of a website and have some really ugly handwriting. Plug into GPT, boom, give you the code and you have the website right in front of you. That costs about four years of CS computer science degree for people to even know about that to become a front-end designer. Now, because they can translate as a language model, suddenly that barrier disappeared. As long as you can speak a daily Monday English and you have a correct logic, you will be able to create website just like all those big paid programmers. The third replacement, which is even more scary, called common sense replacement. If you think about it, in your workforce, in your major, in your career, majority of people have value because first, they speak your jargon, you speak your languages. Second, they have a common sense as a human. Sometimes your coworker is have a really broken common sense too, but that's good enough for company to hire him to work for you guys. GPT basically just destroyed it. When you ask GPT why this picture is funny, they can tell you, oh, because it's an iPhone with a really outdated plug. It don't really go together. That's reason it's funny. Why that picture is absurd? Oh, because this guy is airing his shirt right behind a taxi and he's exposing the air, which is really absurd. It's not common. This is the common sense level of GPT already. They understand humor. They understand what's weird. So you will even ask, how does this program have a common sense like human? GPT's training parameters is already reaching one trillion. Give you a comparison. Our brain have a neural connection about 60 trillion. This is the first time a machine learning neural connection is reached similar level like a human brain does. And right now we're only on the fourth generation of GPT. Imagine GPT-15 when they have a hundred trillion, a thousand trillion. What going to happen? Nobody know. But so far, they already can replace your common sense. So, it that mean we all gonna be worthless to society? The answer is of course no. In the paper, they also gave us a hint, a lie of hope. If you go to all the way down, the skills that's still really necessary in the AI age, one of them, it seems kind of strange. It call monitoring. What do you mean monitoring? It is a skill, did, do you ever practice monitoring? No, but the real answer of monitoring is we need to strive to become the owner of AI instead the substance of AI. Within the research paper, OpenAI even support this claim. They find that science and critical thinking, it become really, really important in future come along. Even AI need a host, need an owner, and we need to strive to become that. In the last ages, people tried their best to become a tool. I'm a coding translator. I'm a, a video editor. I am a PowerPoint maker. But in the new AI age, people need to thrive, become human. The thing that what human good at, the thing that other thing cannot do, the critical thinking, the self-awareness, the coordination of resources. Of course, we've been talking about what's gonna be changed, how it's gonna change, how it's gonna affect you. But there will still be something will remain unchanged. No matter how AI iterate, this thing will remain the same. And this will be a good news even for majority people when AI replace human. And due to the time I will talk about next video. And I also will cover why prompt engineer is a lie.
Thank you so much for watching my video. My name is Paul. I'll see you next time. Bye.